take it off. <coughs> um, welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 movie strip teases. As you can imagine, the following clip contains mature content. And just to set the mood, we'd better tell you that right off the bat, we've decided to omit male strip teases, despite how entertaining they may be. Number 10, Rose McGowan, Grindhouse, Planet Terror. Now, this is a great way to kick off any list, let alone any movie. During the opening credits to this horror movie masterstroke, we're treated to a private show by a go-go dancer aptly named Cherry Darling. Her job is to get our pulses pounding as she burns up the film stock. Why can't all of our lists start like this? I don't want to do violent stuff anymore. Number 9, Rebecca Romaine, Femme Fatale. If there's one argument for keeping jukeboxes around, here it is. Here, Romaine plays a con woman who's assumed the identity of an identical woman who committed suicide. Of course, her scheme is discovered by Antonio Banderas, who just can't help but get involved. With each playing a game with the other, Romaine's turns revolve around seduction. In this case, dancing for another man inevitably goes too far and backfires, which she enjoys. <laughs> Number 8, Jessica Biel, Powder Blue. Hey, Papa. I wouldn't keep you too long. I'll make it up to you. In this film, Biel plays an exotic dancer named Rose Johnny, who works for the late Patrick Swayze. Well, I am not a whore. <laughs> well, you then you better learn, Johnny. Dancing in a private room for Ray Liotta, things get pretty steamy, despite the fact that she's a single mother with a boy in a coma. If that doesn't kill the vibe for you, get this. She doesn't know it, but she's dancing for her estranged father. So, what he really wants is a hug, not a tug. Just stop. Number 7, Elizabeth Berkley, Showgirls. This dance is brought to you by a hot young drifter who hitchhiked her way to Las Vegas to make it as a working girl. Well, working girl by that city's standards, anyway. This may be a relatively standard pole dance, but there's nothing wrong with the classics. Hey, I hear she also does birthday parties and bar mitzvahs. Number 6, Jennifer Beals, Flash Dance. Just another pretty face to see. In this flick, the dancer in question is an 18-year-old girl with no formal education who works at a steel mill by day while strutting her stuff by night at a local skin bar. Her dance gets extra points for being one of the most artistic. Who'd have thought you can make a chair and a bucket of water so erotic? Oh man, I love art. Number five, Natalie Portman, Closer. I love you. Nothing screams Academy Award, or at least in this case, Academy Award nomination, like a pink wig striptease. This private room scene is unique for allowing time for deep, contemplative questions about her and her profession as an exotic dancer, all while she works the clock. Have you ever desired a customer? Yes. Of course, the real show here is Clive Owen's interrogation, which tries to do what the dance can't do and make her truly expose herself. Tell me something true. Lying's the most fun a girl can have without taking her clothes off. But it's better if you do. Yeah, okay, we take that back. The real show here is Natalie Portman. Number four, Salma Hayek, Dogma. This striptease, as enjoyed by Jay and Silent Bob, showcases everyone's admiration for playing schoolgirl, complete with thick glasses, thumb sucking, and bubblegum chewing. 
Hilariously, the boys put aside their righteous mission to save the world so Jay can prove to Silent Bob that he's all man. Of course, being such a beaut, the boys and another group get into a bit of a bidding war over her. Well, if you enjoyed her as serendipity, then you'd love watching her dance with a snake before she turns into a hideous vampire. This is where I'm tempted to make a paper bag joke, but I'm a professional, so I won't. Welcome to slavery. No thanks. I already had a wife. Number three, Kim Basinger, nine and a half weeks. In this film, titled after the length of a relationship between Mickey Rourke and Kim Basinger, a ton of kinky shenanigans ensue. This striptease is different from the rest because it's literally featuring two people blinded by lust. As if Basinger's not smoking enough, Rourke lights one up while Kim works her way down to her lingerie. Of course, it gets so steamy, they have to take it outside. Number two, Jamie Lee Curtis, True Lies. In this flick, Curtis plays the bored housewife of Arnold Schwarzenegger, who is secretly a super spy. Hoping to spice up their marriage, he concocts a scheme to have her feel like she's playing the part of a spy. Sending her on a mission to pose as a call girl and plant a bug, Arnie watches from the shadows and uses a tape recorder to hide his identity, instructing Curtis to dance, and dance she does. This one makes it so high on the shortlist for being so unexpected, she's still got it. Number one, Demi Moore, Striptease. Ooh. Taking the top spot on our list is the dance by the former FBI secretary and divorcee who takes up stripping to pay her legal bills in a fight for child custody. Fun fact, that's Rumor Willis, her real life daughter, and what a wholesome mother-daughter film this is. Anywho, as a stripper working for the uh, eager Beaver Miami Strip Club, she attracts the attention of none other than Burt Reynolds. Of course, he's a congressman, and she's been blackmailed into extracting information from him while performing her private show. And, uh, what, what were we talking about? If you just come into Davy's life, good things will happen. Uh, you just don't know how much I worship you. How much? Love our list? I've been easy on you, because when I watch you dance, I get a raging boner. Which movie strip scene teased you the most? For more testosterone guided top tens, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. If I do come back tomorrow, then can we talk more about my case? You can talk about anything you want, as long as you're naked. Mm -hmm.